Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Day and today I'm going to talk about the Clash of Clans strategy part 46 and today's topic is the update and various uh, improvement of the game that I noticed and some uh, disadvantage that I realized and of course the wall breakers, how to counter the wall breakers artificial intelligence. First off, when you collect on the collectors and gold mine, you, you notice you need to press directly onto the building to collect it takes a bit of time to get used to but it's still possible the next thing is you can actually select the whole row of walls and you can move them at the same time you will definitely save a lot of time trying to rebuild your village from scratch especially now that the new ai of the wall breakers has been changed as you can see from here i just deploy a wall breakers and you notice that it actually targets the nearest building that's being enclosed by the wall on the far right top right side instead of to the straight center which is very very weird of the ai but as you can see this is one way that you can actually counter the artificial intelligence of the wall breakers. Breakers. This particular base design I've discovered while attacking after the updates by this person James2727 is a very unique design that uh, actually give me some kind of inspiration on my future base design. As you can see every single building here except for the center part uh, is enclosed in a, a, the kind of a wall staggered in such a formation that uh, your wall breakers will definitely be attracted to uh, the sides instead of directly straight in to the middle of the base even if you have uh, broken through the middle of the base you already expanded quite a number of wall breakers before you does that and you might not be able to have enough wall breakers to uh, you know, destroy all the four uh, quadrants of the center of this base okay let's zoom in and take a look on how the wall breakers react two wall breakers actually went to the uh, nearest uh, elixir storage and broke the wall there and the next uh, I released some of my minions from the reinforcement two wall breakers went to the cannon area and broke the cannon walls around it and uh, some of my minions actually destroyed the center part of the base and all my troops went uh, everywhere two more uh, wall breakers went to this uh, archer area and one more wall breakers are attracted to the wizard's tower and one wall breakers go to the archer tower and currently i already dispensed about eight wall breakers i have not reached the center part of the base two more wall breakers to the center part of the base and i already dispensed like the 10 wall breakers and i still not yet to be able to destroy the center quadrant of the base which is horrible now i, I released two more wall breakers it attracted to the right side uh, the t-junction area so i dispensed about 12 wall breakers already and and uh, i just realized all my troops are uh, mostly being destroyed and uh, nothing is actually left so you can see how uh, you know strategic is this uh, particular base design that actually caused me to uh, waste about 12 wall breakers at this point of time and this is the particular design that i've come up with and it's not the final final design uh, as you can see there's a lot of changes that will be made uh, i, I place uh, uh, this mortar tower on the outside of the base because it's upgrading right now on the top side you can see i just place some traps and the hidden tesla at the town hall area to reduce some of the troops of the enemy attackers uh, the mortar towers usually will be placed at the wizard tower uh, area which is uh, at the right side which I've just selected and this will be a more balanced area for the mortar towers once it's uh, fully upgraded and uh, the, the mortar towers that are on the outside of the base will be the placement where I will put those upgrading towers on that particular location when it's upgrading well basically that's it for this video for part 46 i hope you like this video and remember to put the comments and comment section below and remember to share and subscribe to this channel thank you very much for watching simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye to support for this podcast please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews thank you very much